As Summer and Rich approach the bunny ranch, things turn emotional. Okay, so you ready to get back to work? No. Well, you're just gonna have to get your head on straight and forget about all these distractions. You're either gonna work and do well or not. Why do you even bother going? I don't know why you have to be so mean. I'm not being mean, but the decision was made. This is what you want to do. Look, I don't want to sound unsympathetic, but so try to get it together. Think happy thoughts. Chin up. I want you to go in there and make a good impression, okay? I love you. Yeah. Love you too. Need help? Oh, got it. Hey. You forgot something. Okay, bye, babe. All right, bye. Summer, you were crying. <laughs> you're laughing now because you're out of the... Are you crying a little now looking at it? <laughs> no, yeah? I'm okay. No? But w what was the, the... There was a sadness, and your dad was really pushing you, and you were really breaking down. What was going through your head? I don't really think he was pushing me. It was more that he just wants me to do well financially and get that career going. In his eyes, he just wants what's best for me financially. But in that and moment, you weren't saying that. You were saying, why are you being so mean? And you were crying. Exactly, because sometimes, so sometimes he does forget that mm -hmm. I am an 18-year-old girl and I am going to have feelings and I'm going to be emotional. You're 18. I didn't know you were that young, Summer. You're really, really young. 18 years old, oh my God, I just graduated uh, high school. Yep. Well, Tyra, let's not forget, first of all, she is 18. She's old enough to make these decisions. Secondly, she practically begged me to get into this career and this life. Okay, and but she's 18, legally old enough, but when you're 18, you're still a child. Like, it might be a legal number, but she's still a child that needs the guidance of her parents. But, but Tyra, she was going to do this with or without me. She was determined to do it. And so once that decision is made, then I'm determined to help her do it safely so that she doesn't get taken advantage of because there are people in this industry that are, are, are sleazy and less than... <laughs> Rich, you set yourself up on that one. We're not even, <laughs> we're not even gonna go there. Whatever I can do to help, Tyra. <laughs> okay, once Summer crossed the threshold of the ranch, she and the other girls prepared for what the experience would be like. Check it out. For new girls at the Bunny Ranch, getting started can be an overwhelming experience. Fortunately, Dennis's girlfriend, Brooke Taylor, is there to help new girls get up to speed. So this is where they all need to know about just the normal daily rules that any job would have. This is short. I mean, you're Part of Brooke's job is making is sure that new girls have the right have look for working at the Bunny Ranch. Brooke made very clear to all of us, wear your red lipstick. You want to be a bunny? You got to have that red on your lips. And because the Bunny Ranch is filled with secret rooms and hidden hallways, Brooke makes sure new girls get a thorough tour. The Bunny Ranch can be very confusing, and there's no windows. You don't know which way you're walking. If it wasn't for Brooke giving us that tour, <laughs> I'd still be, like, wandering around in hallways. Now, you can see that this is one of our nicer rooms. So I'm in a little nicer than the rooms we have put you in. But if you work hard and you do well, then maybe next trip this will be your room. So, okay. do well. <laughs> A typical working girl starts off in a simple room with a bed and not much else. That's why a lot of new girls like to take advantage of the fetish rooms, like the dungeon. The fetish rooms are a, a little, <laughs> I can't even describe them, they're just so weird to me, I'm sorry. There's also a fully waterproofed shower room. You can pretty much have any kind of shower you want in there. <laughs> and you know, I'm open for anything, so hopefully I'll be able to make a lot of money in that room. And Brooke always spends some extra time teaching new girls the nuances of what's called the lineup. This will just be a refresher. Any time of the day or night when a customer rings the doorbell, every girl who's not already with a client has to hustle out and line up fast. Hi, I'm Shyla. And any girl who gets called out for dirty hustling in the line ends up in serious trouble. Dirty hustling in the lineup is anything that you do to get extra attention. You have to just say your name whenever it comes to your turn and just hope that he likes you the best. 
Um, when you were giving the girls the tour, do you, do you feel that they are become very nervous as it's happening, or do they become more prepared? What do you see well, with I different girls? They become more prepared because they have more information, but then again, they're also getting more nervous because they're one step closer to mm -hmm. being on their own and being a true prostitute. All right. Um, we're going to find out what the girls were thinking when they were there and their first experience of actually having sex and getting paid for it for the very first time. We'll be right back. Up next, we go behind closed doors with a first-time prostitute and her very first client. I was kind of nervous about my first time. I think that we should go for the full bill. Wednesday on Tyra. The 500th episode of the Tyra Banks Show. And I've got everyone from presidential candidates to top models to superstars. Here? Yeah! <laughs> All the brand new transformations. How much weight have you lost? 110 pounds. Plus, secrets I've never told about my breast show. Here's one of my biggest, biggest secrets. And my Naomi Campbell face-off. I can't believe I did that. It's the Tyra Show's 500th show event. Wednesday on Tyra. So, today we are trying to understand how and why some women make the decision to sell their bodies for money. And we're joining three women who are trying their hands at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch for the very first time. Before the break, we saw these girls get their orientation tour at the ranch. Um, so, Shai, you had the tour. How did you feel after the tour? Nervous? Excited? What were you feeling? There's always a little nervousness, but I was ready to go. I was ready to just dive head in and just rock the place. <laughs> okay. We're not going to read into all those what you just said. Okay. And um, Anna, how, how did you feel after? Um, I was actually really nervous um, at first. I wanted to get past the first experience and mm -hmm. just be able to get my bearings about the place. And what about that lineup and getting chosen? Was that a nervous thing for well, you? Well, you know, there are so many beautiful girls that each one looks a little bit different mm -hmm. that I just didn't know how I could even match up to all of them. Mm -hmm. And so I was extremely nervous about getting picked. Okay, but she did. And it turns out that Anna had nothing to worry about when it came to getting selected. Check it out. I was really nervous about my first lineup. Hello, I'm Air Force Sitting Me. Hi, I'm Anna. All these beautiful girls here, nothing to do. Say, go pick Anna. I guess I did okay because I got picked. Hi. What are you doing? The first time I was in lineup. That's mm -hmm. really awesome. Is this your room? Uh huh, it's right here. Okay. We went back to my room. Nice. And we settled in and uh, we started talking. Now that I'm taking charge and hoping will be dominant, so. Oh, yeah? I love that. So now that I was kind of nervous about my first time. I think that we should go for the full bill. I'm ready to do this. I just need to stay focused on why I'm here. So, Anna, you kissed. I just saw you kissing him. Yes. And like French kissing him. Now, we all saw a pretty woman, right? <laughs> so, Julia Roberts and I've heard different prostitutes say they don't kiss. So, um, what did it feel like doing something like warmly intimate with him, first of it, all? It just depends on if you have that connection with the person. And you felt a connection to him? He was very sweet. He seemed really just like he thought I was just the most beautiful woman, and that made me feel a connection with him. I felt really. Mm -hmm. It was just nice. Were you skeeved out at all in the beginning? Was it weird? This, this man that you don't know touching you, touching your body that you didn't know, at, at any point was it odd? It was because he wasn't like a guy that I would normally pick up at a bar or whatnot. But so you weren't attracted to him physically? Not at first, but once I got to know him, I really felt like very affectionate towards him. Really? Yeah. Did you feel like this is something that you really can 